Alrighty. I wonder if I can turn that around a bit. I might move that over here while people jump on. So I can sit back. On the new outdoor couch. Which is super, super cool. Super simple, super cool. Mind you, just to give you an insight, I've been putting this together for half the day and anyone who puts stuff together that comes in wrap packs and everything like this or Ikea or Bunnings, they can be very, very frustrating. So I had my moments today, but I'm sure it was entertaining for Chi or anyone in there. All good putting stuff backwards and all that sort of thing. But anyway, like I say, I'll wait for the audience to build very, very quickly. If you're jumping on, say hi. Have some questions loaded up. I don't know if you've read the title or the entrance into this one. It's about personal development. Mr. Collis, awesome to chat before, brother. Awesome, you're going well, man. But yeah, like I say, it's on personal development and how I feel like I'm called to do this because I am qualified to talk about it because most of my last 20 months now, pushing up to two years, has been based on investing in my own personal growth and a lot of it's been amazing decisions a lot of it's been decisions where I could have changed or, or, or taken better options um, and a lot of the time what I've invested in I, I've now realized I could have got by doing a lot of what I'm doing now so I'm gonna get to that um, like I say have some questions guys um, to give a background on yeah, a lot of the stuff that I've done, um, if you're new to my page or anything I've done is, I was in a program called Beast Mode International, which involved accountability programs, um, weekly trainings, everything like that, leading into retreats, um, amazing retreats, um, very spiritual, very physical, um, very leadership based, uh, very motivational, um, in a mind, stu stu uh, in a mind, um, work, um, reprogramming, all that sort of stuff and that was the start of my journey. It was a lot of my journey leading from 2015 right through last year to the end of last year but along the way I was involved with a couple of network marketing companies where I actually found the passion for personal development, where I was introduced to it um, and there's some amazing people in that and in any company really and I've met a lot of sales people, met a lot of real estate people, um, a lot of people who are in just traditional businesses that are right into personal development and I've met a lot of them on my journey. Work with a lot of them too but just for my background, yeah, it was a lot like with retreats, learning the coaching game. Um, you can coach on many levels guys too what I've learned. Um, it's something that I, I struggled with a lot later last year with my belief around it because there's so many different ways and and different avenues to coach and be coached um, and because I was new to it there were some things that I found along the way that I didn't like that I didn't trust that I, I, I was unsure and that's that's cool that's cool and especially when there's there's a monetary value tied to it and I look back last year and without including the travel without including accommodation and things like that a lot of it was covered a lot of it was not um, without hiring cars and things like this it was over fifty thousand dollars and that that's pretty bloody crazy for some people but I valued it I valued it but on the other side I, I was in companies that had these personal development programs and all these amazing people that have been doing it for years thing was I didn't utilize that enough big lesson for me I didn't utilize it enough I was getting massive value from what I was doing and of course I invested a lot of money I'm like I'm not gonna waste this I'm gonna throw myself all in but there were times where I didn't, I didn't feel inside that it was for me, and in them times, I didn't know where to turn. So I kept trusting the process, which you've got to absolutely do if you invest in a coach or a program. You've got to trust the process, guys. But I found it was never ending in some of it, and I made some choices to change. And what I wanted to lead into here now, and, and like I say, I'm not saying to anyone, go either way. I'm, I'm not saying don't go into courses. I'm not saying do go into courses. I'm not saying don't get a coach. I'm not saying do get a coach. I'm not saying don't, don't join a network marketing company. I'm not saying do. This is up to personal preference. But just know this. In companies, if there's people with success, you want a bit of that. It's obviously why you want to get involved. You want to know. Do what they do. Do what they suggest. Sometimes it could be hard. I know of me, Following systems and stuff's been hard. It really has. But I've been blessed to make some decisions that has allowed me to be in an environment now where I can choose both. I have a coach. 
I'm in a program that is costing me thousands of dollars. Yes, I'm working hard to pay it off, but I'm also in an amazing company where at the core of it, their values, they wanna see people succeed. That's pretty bloody cool. Every company's like that, but I didn't get it until the people that, that I really resonated with on such a, a higher level till we all crossed paths. And it was, a, it was what would I say, it was a progression. And feel free to ask me any questions here, guys. I, I'm open to any questions on this. It's such a broad range as a personal development game, um, coaching, if you will. There's a lot of negativity, there's a lot of positivity, there's a lot of great stuff, there's a lot of bad stuff, there's whatever it is. There's a lot of gossip, there's a lot of whatever it is. Everyone's got their own experiences. What company am I with? I'm with an amazing company called World Ventures, and I'm happy to say that. TNL is our team, and it's an amazing team, and I'm going to get to that soon, mate. Absolutely. But at the core of when I made a decision last year to join a company, I was already in a several others, there's been a progression away from it, is the people. The people. And what I've learned, it's not come join our company and we'll be there for you forever. It's not come join our company and we'll just go out of our way to help you with everything. You gotta do shit. You gotta show you want something. You wanna show, you, you go in there because you love going to events. You wanna just go in there because you wanna be around the people and you wanna travel and you wanna have fun or you wanna make money. Or do you want to grow yourself? I chose to get in there, number one, to create a, to have a vehicle to grow my wealth, something I was lacking, because I invested so much last year. That's what was lacking, that's number one, but it was the people. The people, the way they, the way they were, the way they acted, the way they held themselves, the way they presented, the way they were with other people, the way they were, had no bullshit. Sometimes you can't put a price on the truth, guys. I learned a lot last year from the truth, when I wasn't sure of my own truth. I had other people tell me, this is the truth, that's the truth, and I, I bought into it, and that's fair enough at the time. But the more I grew myself and understood my own truth and my own intuition, then I understood the people around me while they were there and how, how I was there to, to be there for their mission, for their purpose. And that's what I found when I, when I started working with, like I say, Michael Sloggett. He's been fantastic. And not by anything, like I don't have to go, hey, I'm gonna commit thousands of dollars to you. What got me at the start was, we're gonna be here for you. If you're gonna do the work, if you're gonna show up, we're here for you every step of the way, through anything. Now, when you're new at this, and you hear someone say that to you, you're like, oh yeah, but I've heard this, but I've heard that. And you don't usually say it out loud, and you're like, in your mind. And I'm like, I actually trust this guy. We were talking for ages before this, and just about life stuff and all that, which is really, really important. And what I've found from experience and what I felt called to do this now is it's both sides of the personal development thing. You go into programs, absolutely. I've got amazing people in our program we just started now um, and they are fantastic. They're committed to it and it's awesome. But on the other hand, I've got great people in my team, below, above, aside, not connected to me everywhere. And what they understand and what they live by is if you want fulfillment out of anything, anything, it's by helping others. So why not do it? Why not do it to help others create an income, create wealth, to have more fun, to travel more, to connect more? Big values of mine. Very contribution and growth are my one and two. Throwing family close up there. But there's so many other other key values that people overlook. Number one, you can't help others unless you help yourself. And that's what I had to start doing more, and that's what I did over these last couple of years. But I had to have the people around me that have been doing it for a while too. And to have that just by committing to what they said, to be a part of their purpose, to be a part of them gaining fulfillment, that's gold, that's their payment. That's what it is. And that's what I mean, it's like, it's like the cheaper alternative, if you will, because you're not paying in dollars, you're paying in time and effort. You're paying in sacrifice. A lot of people don't get that until you do that. Everyone's so, so monetary based the way they look at things so they don't follow through with things. It's like, this costs this much, so I can't do it. They even do it now, and I look at the comparison of what I have spent just by being involved with a company that allows you to make money and grow, having their own events, having their own mentors that are there on call. If you do the work, they're there on call. If you do the work. If you take the time to learn to listen, they're there. If you fuck up, they're there. If you put your time and effort in, and a few of my guys are on here would understand that, 
And you guys are watching the recording. I'm, I'm happy to be called out on this for, for times where this hasn't happened. Because I'm going to throw it straight out there. I'm going to put that 99% of the time it's your fault. It's a thing called ownership when it comes to this, guys. And it's something I've picked up over the last five or six months that's been key. It really has. If you, if you don't understand owning all your, your, your shortcomings or your shortfalls, whatever it is, they're not, they're not failures or anything like that. It's not that you're, you're shit at something, you're never going to be good at something. It's just owning when you've made a decision that hasn't been the best. Owning when you've not listened and something hasn't come off, when maybe listening would have helped you go forward. Now, it's a big lesson that I've learned. I'm just going to get to these comments in a sec. Kyle, how are you, brother, man? I love your work, bro. You're committed to the cause. A, a really good example, man. Payoff is coming. That's all I can say. Ray, how are you, brother? Awesome that you're on. Anyone else jumping on, say hello. I see Koss is hiding there. Lee's there, Kieran. It's another thing too, guys. Like We hear it all the time, and I'm using personal development here. I get so many people message me privately or get on these live streams or, or sometimes comment on posts, but they don't fully open up. They don't fully want the world to see. Trent, how are you, legend? I'll give you a key tip. It doesn't matter if you're not involved in a company or you don't want coaching or you don't want this. If you want to grow personally, you don't need all that stuff. might seem contradictory because I am coaching and I am a company. I've got coaches. But no, simple shit. You hear it all the time about getting out of your comfort zone. Guess what? Commenting on something like here might give you the little aha moment that you need. So I encourage that all the time. And yeah, it might sound like, well, I'm pushy. I don't want to comment. I just want to watch and listen. That's fucking boring, guys. <laughs> I appreciate you've been on, but why not throw a comment in there? Why not throw a question in there? That's that's the way I look at things now. It's like, why would I give my time, and that's what it is, and this is you, I'm putting myself in your position. Why would I give my time to watch someone just to listen and not ask a question? Not be more curious, but not get something answered. I had to go to the other side of the fucking planet to, to get stuff answered internally the other week. Big move. Like... A lot of people won't do it, and you don't have to do it. That's why there's so many levels to, to the personal development. There's so many levels, and I felt called to do that because I had questions because I started to get to the point where I didn't want to open up. Ah, Paul, you're a legend, brother. Appreciate your time, man. You, you understand exactly what I'm talking about. But I had to go over there to get a lot of, a lot of questions answered. Tessa, awesome stuff. Another one you've stepped up, which is amazing, and I bet you're feeling... Nervous and relieved at the same time. It's a weird feeling. Trust me, I know. I've had it a lot lately. <laughs> but I, I mentioned going to Peru. Now, coming out of Peru, I'm in another program. I've committed to another thing that's going forward, and I've got a stretch to make that work. But I, I, I value that immensely. Working with Regan Hilly, I absolutely value her time and what she teaches. And we align. But it's not for everyone. Going to the other side of the world is absolutely not for everyone. Going to retreats in Bali is not for everyone. But I tell you what is for everyone. If you're if you're asking questions of yourself, why why aren't you in your place where you should be? Why is your friend doing better than you? Why is a family member having this amazing life? Why why are these people having so much fun? If you're asking questions like that, are, are you searching for the answers or are you judging? Are you asking questions that's like, well, they won't be. Are you one of the ones that dra wants to drag them down because you're too afraid to do something different? Because you're too afraid to get the questions answered. You're too afraid to approach that person who has the result you want to get the answers. I, I see it now. It's it's pretty clear to me. And like I say, I I didn't have to go to the Peru, but I at the time I, I needed to because I had all this shit going on in my head again. I've been doing this stuff for like, I'm not gonna say 20 months now, nearly two years, and I still was getting that up. Long time no speak, Amber. Thank you. Awesome. It'd be good to catch up and have a chat one day. See how you're going. I love blasts from the past. It's cool. But here's the thing. I had all that stuff going on in my head, and I call it scatter. It's what it was. It was a lot of questions, but it was a lot of questions coming from a place where I was too afraid to go and actually ask someone or approach someone or actually follow the process which I've shown to do and start doing things my own way. That's why so many people are stuck. So many people are stuck. And so many people ask the question and then the money thing comes up, myself included, 
I've had times like this absolutely so freaking conditioned that I only wanted to spend stuff on things that I could go out and, like fishing and a boat and all this sort of stuff. Material things. It's what we're conditioned to do. I'll get to that in a sec, Logie. Love questions. Loggy, is it? I'll get to um, that in a sec. But you get to that point where even I was and I was asking questions but to no one, to myself. That's cool. I have the answers. But a lot of us, we, we get caught up doing that and then questions become scattered. Then questions become layer on layer on layer of what's going wrong. Focus on what you, you, what you focus on, you find. The shit that's going wrong. You're asking questions of why is this wrong? Why is that wrong? What you put out, you attract. So wrong was showing up. Shit was showing up. Why is this shit? Why is this not working? Why can't I make money here? Why is this part of my team not working? Why can't I get anyone else in my team? That's what I was, the questions I was asking. And you can hear how negative that is. So what was happening? So all I needed to do was quieten that down. All I needed to do was ask the questions to someone who'd been through this sort of shit before. Go on a, through a process, do a course. That's, that's what I did, I went to Peru. But back to my main point with this, guys. Back to my main point. You don't have to get a coach. You don't have to invest thousands of dollars if you choose not to. If you value it and it suits you, do it. You can go into anything. There's any companies out. I fucking love mine because of the people. They are, we are so aligned. My payment to them is going to be in results. That's all they ask for. And results meaning I'm happy. I'm living the life of fun. I'm living the life of freedom. I'm, I'm living the life. I'm creating more of a life for everyone around me. I think that's pretty bloody important in life, guys. Is, and it's what a lot of us are lacking. It is. It's what a lot of us are lacking. Let me get to that now, Loggy. On my journey to where I am now, did I have to leave some friends behind who maybe were holding you back? Yeah, absolutely, dude. <laughs> I'm sure there's um, some people on here that are uh, good friends of mine and they have got this on their journey too. And we, we put it under the heading of environment. And it's what I'm talking about here too, guys, environment. We can use the, the example of a company. You're going to have friends... I've got heaps of friends now. I've got heaps of friends be from before. And I haven't just shut them out and say, hey, you're not my friend anymore. I've just been distracted. That was just so... <laughs> it's all right. My distraction just walked out there. It's a good distraction. Chi Chi. <laughs> but back to it. Such a serious point just broken. This is the cool thing about live guys. <laughs> she done that on purpose too. But your environment's always going to change. If you want to grow personally, personally, just go and do it. You don't have to tell people, go away. Sometimes you do, but you just go on your, your journey. Go on your journey. If people don't understand, you don't have to explain it to them. You don't have to be obligated to explain to them why you're doing it. If you f really feel deep in here that it's your calling, it's your path, there's something in it, follow through with it. Take the steps, take the risks. I've got friends now and they're friends and we've been, we haven't been friends for long. A couple were in my team actually and they're absolutely top, top blokes. They're amazing. The amount of judgment and criticism they've got from around them for doing something a bit different, which they're gaining out of on a personal level, is crazy. It's crazy. I've got it a lot myself and I continue to get it. But what I've come to the point and on a journey, and what I've come to the point now is I know, I know if I take certain steps, I know if I, if I commit to something, I know if I keep doing something, I keep listening to these people who've got what I want in my environment, the people who aren't gonna to raise their vibration or be on my frequency, they're gonna drop off anyway, or they're gonna follow their own path, they're gonna do their own thing, which is cool, which is what it's all about. And the ones that are vibing on the same as me, they're going to show up or they're going to be there already and then we're going to make the connection that we're meant to do. Having that knowing in anything you do and it's been a big thing for me and I've got to that. It's been a progression. Makes a difference on how you're going too. So that, that's cool, Loggy. I, I, um, that's a cool question. Something, like I say, everyone here can relate to. No matter what you're doing. It might even be you choose to stay in that job because you love it and you choose to not earn a lot of money because you love it. Same sort of thing, guys. Depends what you want. It depends what you want out of it. Throw some more questions at me, guys. Just start. That's it, Trent. Like, you're on your own journey, too. 
Trent, and it's awesome because you've chosen. We've had many chats. Micro, massive results to result. Oh, here we go. Hayden, how are you, brother? All the way from RNZ, man. Intrigue me. <laughs> no intriguing, man. Well, I'm glad you're on, bro. I'm glad you're on because you yourself have found your way yourself. True? You've been searching, you've been searching, you found your own way, and it's a powerful way to do things. A lot of people haven't got the strength to do that. A lot of people don't. And you own a lot of your shit. I, I, I think I called you on a bit of it. You called me on some of mine, and that's the way it works. So I'm glad you're on here, bro. It's, it's a, you're a great example for, for what you can do by yourself if you choose just to commit to something different. doesn't have to be to a program. It doesn't have to be to a company. It doesn't have to be. Just committing to a better life. That's what this is about, guys. Alcohol gets the better of me every time, but I know what I need to do. Just keep putting it off. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask you, Benjamin. Man, you've been in our environment for a while, following our stuff. What's it gonna take for you to quit? Is it gonna take something that fucking painful that you lose something for you to quit? That's what happens. That's what. Ha I had a call. Just keep me accountable here, guys. Is the volume still there? I'm gonna have to wait. I just had a call come through and it cuts out. Just let me know if you can hear me, guys. That's a little frustrating. I'm getting likes, so I'm gonna say yes, but yeah. Yeah, it is true, man. You don't know what's gonna to happen tomorrow, dude. So you think, if alcohol gets the better of you, and I, I totally understand this, man. We've chatted, I totally, on a total, like I say, I've had a fucking half a lifetime of this craziness, and I kept putting it off. I'm like, nah, it wasn't so bad. I'd go to court for like six months and then I'd get off or I'd get a fine and I'd go back and look at it and say, well, that wasn't that bad. I'm going to go get play up again. I'm going to go get another blue. Then I'd go through it again. That's, that's the shit that can happen. And draining money too, bro. What's the fucking point? Why do you go work your ass off for? To go spend it on shit that's not fucking getting you any further ahead in life? It's a fucking waste of time. And I'm not saying to anyone don't drink. But I'm saying if it's getting the better of you like you've just said then... Man, just stop. Hayden's on here too. Benjamin, connect with him. He's He's got an absolute journey to talk about too. Nothing beats constructive criticism if you didn't pull me up on my shit. There you go. Straight up, man. Owning it. Perfect. Yeah. Awesome, Tessa. It's awesome you're on too. Looking forward to your feedback in the group too, Tessa, on last night's crazy long training. <laughs> But anyway, got Chi Chi here. Say hi now, Chi Chi. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I'm just, it's 5.30. Is it? It's 5.30 and we're leaving here in 20 minutes. Hey guys. Bye bye. She's had her time on on the show. <laughs> I actually have to go on a sec, guys. But oh, Steve Mack show. <laughs> Steve Mack show, there you go. It is. I, th I think this is one of the first ones I've done in a while without without you being on. Which is cool, it's good. Got some cool stuff going on. But right back to it, guys, and... <laughs> yes, you've got it now, Hado. You see it now. He goes, ah, oh, I see why you were distracted. <laughs> it's a good distraction, isn't it? Here I am being all serious and talking about serious. But I go back to my original point, why I felt called to do this, guys. There's so many options out there, but I have found one that is like awesome. I still continue to invest in myself. I still got a coach. I do my own programs. We do our own programs with people that invest in. Absolutely. But if you're, you're looking at something, you're starting on something now, and you're not sure where to turn, there's so many environments out there you can get into. And it takes just something really small, but it takes work from you. That's all it is. You already work. Everyone on here works. Everyone who's going to watch a recording is, we all work. We all go and work with someone else. We all go pay for someone else's fucking dream. Why not do the work on growing yourself around people who have got this life or they're working towards this life that you want something to do with? And if it's fun, freedom, fulfillment, it should be, and I'll use like coaching things, in areas we work on, guys, guess what most of us are lacking? Fulfillment. I'll, I'll pay on here. Anyone? I don't know what I've just been. Yo coin. That's gold. Awesome, man. You need to get a marketing coach, bro. Please don't put them sort of links on my um, live stream. Silly. <laughs> it's not going to work. Unless you like holidays. 
and you've done it twice. Awesome. Good luck with that. <laughs> yeah, load my inbox up with a dude and I'll reverse. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> but like I say, in, in the coaching, when we're coaching, can ask. Health is number one, yes. But we can easily work on that. We're all aware we can eat better. We're all aware we can go to the gym. We're all aware we can train. Wealth. We all go to jobs that just pay off our loans and our debts and we stay normal. Some of us have got good jobs, some don't. We don't understand the power of getting in something different where you build it up and you build a foundation and you go from there. But one thing that is huge that most people are missing is fulfillment. That is huge. And it comes from doing fun stuff you're passionate about. A lot of the people, if you don't get fulfillment, it's because you're not doing the fun stuff. So you're not having fun. You're not, you're not going around without restrictions. That's where you can gain fulfillment from doing stuff when you've got freedom. You're not tied down. So just something to think about, guys. If you are looking for something to get into, and I'm serious, like I'll stay with this company forever, that, and that's the truth. You can like save this live stream. Oh, I'm getting funny looks. She's like, forever. <laughs> awesome, Trent. <laughs> but seriously, because life is about having fun. Life is about, for me, helping others. I have fun helping others. I have fun. I get fulfillment from seeing others succeed in whatever it is. Smiling is succeeding, guys. Being happy is succeeding. Old mates just loaded up with a shitload of links. Unreal. <laughs> Everyone go check out YoCoin. It's not Yo-Yo Coin, is it, Farhan? <laughs> is that the yo-yos you play with when you're five? Oh, wow. He's just filling my... You know, the more comments you do on my live stream, the more it circulates. So thank you, Farhan. I appreciate it. <laughs> anyway, guys, like I say, if you are looking for something, something to create that life of fun, freedom, fulfillment, look at this. He's still going. Let me know, inbox me now. I have amazing people around me. I have, absolutely amazing. They call it how it is, they, they tell me the truth, they tell me when I'm doing great, they tell me when I'm doing bad, they tell me when I'm out of line, they show me the way to do things better and they have, we have a laugh doing it. I cry sometimes doing it too, don't worry, don't I? <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah. yes, but that's what when life's you, about. When you can find, I think like last night, the, when we were doing the training, what was really cool. I'll get my mouth. Don't eat the bugs. What you're talking about is when you can find a, a job or find work that doesn't even feel like work. Eh? Like we were talking about that yesterday. Yeah. Like the work we do, like running our program, it's fun. It's what we're passionate about. It gives us fulfillment. It helps us grow. It helps us learn. And we get paid well for it. So it's like, you know, if other That's people it. are doing this, then you, know, you can ask yourself, like you don't need to settle for some cruddy job that's only fulfilling some of your needs you know you can I don't know I just my whole life I found everything it's like everything had to be so hard so much of a struggle and we're doing this now and it's like it's just so easy and it just feels so right it doesn't mm. even feel like work does it mm. it's just awesome no it is it's awesome and it all started by making choices and decisions to, to work towards this that's the thing that's that's the point of this guys like I say you got heaps of options we better go because now that she's on here, we, we can talk backwards and forwards about this because we're passionate about this. This is the thing. We are super passionate about it. But there are vehicles out there you can get into this much cheaper. There are programs. Send me an inbox. We'll give you all the details. Don't send them to her. And she'll be like, no. no. <laughs> but send me like, any questions you got, guys, especially about the fulfillment part. Fun, freedom, fulfillment. That's, that's what life's supposed to be about. If you're not having it, inbox me now. Anyway, thank you everyone for being on. Thank you, Yo Yo Coin Man. We're going to the movies. We're going and to the Steve's movies. Hasn't had a shower and he's sweaty. Yeah, so I'm gonna get her to sit on my lap and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you for your time. See you later. Thank Bye. you, Hato in NZ Man. I love your input. Appreciate it. Kiwis. Yeah. <laughs>